In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing what I believe to be the best red zone play in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you get the most out of Madden 21, help you win more games, help you um, just be better, become a better player. And if that's something that you're interested in doing, what I want you to do right now is I want you to go down in the bottom right hand side of the screen and you're going to see that you can click subscribe. If you click that subscribe button, what that's going to allow you to do is going to allow you to know every time I post a video and I post four videos a day. Now, if you want to be notified whenever I go live, which is every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern time on YouTube, you can click that little bell icon to turn on the notifications. All right, guys, so this is the best red zone play, uh, best red zone route in Madden 21, at least so far. And I'm going to explain why, but it's, I mean, it's really, really good. I'm really excited to explain this to you. So shotgun trips and the play is sale. And we're just going to go against random defenses. It beats man. It beats zone. They're literally going to have to lurk on this uh, on their own. And you'll see it's pretty much good anywhere from like the 15 yard line and in. And it's best right about here. Okay. Best right about there. Now, all I'm going to do on the back side of this play right here is I'm going to take Lazard and I'm going to put him on a, uh, whoops, I'm sorry. You'll see here so we can get the back. I'll show you this here in just a second. But I'm going to take uh, Lazard and I'm just going to drag him. And then I'm going to put Valdez Scantling on a curl. And then I'm going to take my, um, my running back and put him on a swing. That's literally all I'm going to do. But what you'll see is when this route gets to the back of the end zone, you see here, see how he's gonna do that right there. Now, if he's again, if he's running against man to man, you're just gonna throw it. Man to man's probably gonna do the best against this. This is absolutely gonna kill zone. He's gonna get to the back of the end zone, and what you'll see is he's gonna literally be able to um, just run flat straight across the back of the end zone. So you can throw this at multiple windows. You can literally wait until the route gets all the way across the the uh, right hand side of the screen. You'll see here. Um, if they if they's running man, you just pop it in right there. And it's gonna work. It's gonna work really, really well. Um, but if they go to zone coverage, what you see here. So watch. He's gonna get to the back of the end zone, and then he is going to. Uh, you don't want to throw out of a sack, but he is going to literally just walk alongside. That's why I like these curls. Um, this little curl flat concept on the right side. So we'll show you that in just a second here. But these curls, um, you can low ball those. Those are low ball inside pass lead. Um, routes so basically I take a curl I smart route it on the outside I put the swing route there and then Lazard typically is on a slant or a drag depending on how far out we are um, but what you'll see is you can throw you can throw those uh, curls with a pass lead to the inside there I made the mistake of pass leading down and um, but you want to pass lead inside so watch right here so see here see how he's gonna run all the way across literally he's gonna run all the way across and you can just fit it in um, at multiple points. Now, one of the other things that you can do, um, and you'll see it right here, you know, I can throw this little route to the back of the end zone to scantling if they're in a flat zone situation if I wanted to. Um, but typically what I'm gonna do, like I said, this is my go-to setup right here. Um, and you'll see it. slants on the, on, the, on the goal line this year are pretty good. Um, they're pretty, pretty good. And again, this is, I wanna show it deeper first and then we're gonna move to shorter, uh, more shallower routes, but right right in the back of the end zone and we'll show it to you here uh, we'll show you one more from the back uh, backed out of the end zone and then we'll show you one inside the five yard line but this is going to be good pretty much anywhere inside the 15 um, yard line you see you're going to get that nice animation of Devontae adams uh, against pretty much anything so they're going to have to use her that left side of the field in combination with really running a decent zone coverage on the right side of the field because man coverage is not going to be able to hang with these routes uh, at least in this year's game uh, at least with the way it's working right now but watch this is from the two watch how he gets to the back of the end zone he's literally just going to run flat across and you can throw this he's going to run flat across the entire um the entire uh zone and that's why i personally like to smart route the curl because he's going to literally replace the curl route if you have enough time you'll see right there and, and i threw it late there i was trying to i'm trying to show it to you as he gets all the way across um the formation so we'll show this to you here good pocket good pocket good pocket see how it gets all the way across though isn't that crazy um to me this is just one of the most unique red zone uh, little plays here 
Uh, very, very solid play. And the, the concepts you'll see here, I can lowball these little curls anytime I want. Those curls are consistently going to beat zone. They're consistently going to beat man for you. Um, it doesn't matter what they do. And again, if they run a lot of man to man, you're going to be able to beat it with one of these two, um, one of these two routes here. Uh, Lazard, as you see here, he's going to get to the back of the end zone, but he doesn't always run flat, as you can see. So, you know, really the route that you're going to want to focus on the most is going to be this route to Devontae Adams. And you'll see right here, right, he's going to get back to the end zone, and then he's just going to run flat across, and you're just going to find a window to throw it up against. Uh, you can high point this route as well. Um, I, haven't, I haven't actually uh, tested this out, but I'm pretty sure you can. You see right there, though, against man, it's just going to, just gonna absolutely torch man. You got the slant on the right, whichever the user goes to, you're either gonna go to the slant or you're gonna go to the um, little sail route in the back of the end zone. But what you'll see here, when he gets to the back of the end zone, you can literally high point. You see here, if you got a good receiver, he's gonna come down with that ball. So guys, this is the best route, best uh, red zone play so far in Madden 21, at least for me from a passing perspective, this play is absolute money. Um, as I throw a pick as I say that um, this play is absolute money you just need to learn to read the curls um, sometimes they will use the route on the left side in fact probably most times they're going to use the route on the right um, but if you can throw these low ball curl routes all you're going to do is pass it this to the inside if you can make the right read on those curl routes that is what's going to make this play uh, really really go again that smart routed curl to about a scant lean and what you'll see here and you see how that beats man to man Let's get that nice little release. So, guys, this is the best red zone play in Madden 21. I just wanted to get this out there quick as I could uh, for you guys. But, guys, we've got more video content coming for you today. We've got three more videos. Again, I post four times a day on YouTube. So we've got three more tip videos coming uh, today. I also want to let you know about my Discord. If you haven't already been a part of the Discord, I do want to encourage you to consider it. Discord is basically a communication platform. It is a place where we come together to talk about this game and share ideas, right? You get to check out my stuff. You also get to check out other people's stuff. You can add your own stuff. Um, you know, you can add what is uniquely your own. You can ask questions. You can get lab partners. It's just a great community. And so if you haven't already, what I want you to do right now is go into the comment or go into the description of this video, click join my Discord, and that is going to help you tremendously because when you start surrounding yourself with better competition, you're going to become a better Madden player. All right, guys, we will see you in our next video. Check out one of these on your screen. And we got more video content coming for you today.